Hello everybody, uh, this is a, just a quick video on my 2000 point Death Guard army that I just got finished painting that will be ready for uh, a tournament tomorrow. So this is like the first tournament in, I don't know, a year or something. So I'm super excited and uh, it's a good kind of motivation to get stuff done and paint it. So I'm just going to go over real quick my list. Um, you know, let you know kind of what I'm I'm taking, and then you know I'll see how it kind of plays out. I already got some ideas for maybe you know a couple things that might be a little bit different than this, but um, this is all painted. And this is kind of where I'm starting at. So, uh, so first up, uh, what we have is a obviously have Morty uh, there. So, um, just have to try him out. So he's super amazing. Um, I have I've had a couple test games. He hasn't died yet, but I know that he can. I typically will keep him probably in strategic reserve, and uh, so we'll see kind of how that goes. The other uh, list he also takes the what is it? Uh, Mortarian's Anvil, I believe the um, Warlord trait where it uh, ignores Overwatch and set to defend. And no re-rolling uh, wounds or hits, so that which is pretty good. Psychic powers. I ended up taking taking miasma, of course. I take uh, the curse of the leper, um, and then the other one is the I forget the name of it, but it's the one to increase his aura. Because I already came across this once where um, I had somebody come in and bring um, eradicators in within 12 to shoot at him and I mistakenly uh, thought the aura was long enough but it wasn't so um but it really helped to prevent re-rolls and stuff like that so uh, my idea is to do that to kind of help protect myself a little bit and then uh go into the other list so the other it's basically a battalion and this is the in in exonerable um so they basically get the uh, uh stratagem where it's minus two to charge them and it is uh they have the warlord trait where you can get a, a plus one ap if you're in contagion range so and i'll show you kind of who did that so uh basically hqs we're going to start with my demon prince uh so his wings um i gave him the uh so, uh, separating plate, the uh, separating plate, I forgot how to kind of pronounce that, but uh, that, I gave him the warlord trait where it raises his toughness and then makes it so that he um, basically ignores uh, AP1 and AP2, so just to kind of try to really keep him alive. Uh, so his idea is I have 20 pox walkers here, and I, he also has the uh, spell uh, putrid viral wrath Violarescence. I don't know. This, these are all tongue twisters to me. But um, the plus one uh, toughness and plus one strength, which I think is going to work really well with the Pox Walker. So typically, this is a twenty man unit, and and he'll kind of uh, run with them and kind of protect them. The other uh, HQ that I have is the Lord of Contagion, which. I'm probably thinking of t maybe to swap out for the Lord of Vigilance or, or Virulescence. And um, so we'll see. So he just has the, uh, not the Man Reaper, but the Plague Reaper on there. So it's just kind of how I have modeled. And then he's going to have five Terminators that are going to kind of go with him. He does have the Warlord trait where it's uh, the extra AP if you're within Contagion range. And then I did give him the um, Relic and paid for it to make his weapon uh, basically the better version of it. So um, the minus one to hit kind of sucks. So uh, five Terminators. And uh, we have a Plague Spear, and then we have a Flail in there. They all have axes, and, you know, pretty kind of self-explanatory. Um, typically hold those guys in reserve. Uh, ten, so let's go to troops here. So ten more Pox Walkers that we got. And uh, so that's the other unit. So once again, that can kind of match because they're a core unit. And then uh, this is a 20-man unit. And then my other... Uh, troop choice is nine plague marines and we have a fist uh, we have a flail 
we have a, um, a blight launcher. So they're a nine man because they're gonna have a plague surgeon that's gonna run with them. And then I basically got also a rhino that has a, a havoc launcher added onto them. So the idea is to kind of put them on there, give a little bit of room to move forward, kind of clear the board, and then they're usually pretty tough, especially with the plague surgeon next to them. So um, other units, so I got a plague burst crawler with, uh, so I kind of did a little bit of work on him, with the uh, guns. I used to have the spewer things on there, so now I have those, which I think are, are way better now. And then I have a unit of two blight haulers. The reason why they're a unit is for the, basically that stratagem that's minus one attack when you shoot them, which my last test game actually it paid off pretty good. So, um, so... The secondary, I'm kind of torn on secondaries. I do like the, uh, what is it, Despoil Ground secondary, but I just don't have enough Bubonic Astartes units to kind of really do that effectively. So I think I'm gonna probably do engage in all fronts, but in the future, I potentially could be like, if I maybe swapped one of these out for a Hellbrute, cause they're a Bubonic uh, Astartes unit, that might work there. Um, so we'll have to see. That I, I think that has potential to do it, but I think you really have to play with that. Uh, the extra one that could I take is um, what is it? Spread the sickness or whatever that the one um, deal that these guys can take. Not bad. I, I think you can maybe expect you know six, nine, you know maybe around nine. But I think that would really depend also on what is you know how many objectives and stuff there are. So. And then the other one that I'm kind of toying around with, which I don't know is going to be too great, but we could see, so is uh, while we stand, you fight. So uh, biggest thing, so it'd be Morty, it'd be the um, Terminator's units, uh, Termi Terminator unit, and then the Plague Marines. Those would be the three units uh, that you'd have to kill. So these guys being in here with the Plague Surgeon, I can should be able to keep them alive long enough if I um, bring Morty on, you know, turn two, turn three, hopefully he can survive. It's these guys that have been a little bit of a problem as far as trying to keep them all alive, but, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see, and, you know, play it safe from there. But, um, but that's, that's kind of the question is what to do with secondary. So, but we'll see, we'll test this all out, see how it works. Um, I'm really a big fan of the plague walkers i think they just have so much going for them the uh stratagem where they do mortal wounds on sixes you know backed up with like re-rolling um and then uh you know giving them plus one strength and so, like and then being able to bring models back uh, is really good so that's it and then uh, i'll do a little report maybe on how i do on this uh thing once again i'm not looking to win that's Probably not my thing, but I just want to have a good showing, play good, you know, got my army all painted. So hopefully that does something for me and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks a lot and uh, talk to you soon.